Hey everybody, this is the Marine with Backpacking with the Hammock. In today's video, we're going to look at the hammock stand made by Tato Gear. It is made out of alloy aircraft aluminum. So why would anyone want or need a hammock stand? Well, I get my best sleep in a hammock and they're very comfortable also to kick back in. So if there's no two anchor points like trees, then you'll need a stand of some sort to hang your hammock. And once you have a stand, you can go anywhere like Say, for instance, this is a campground, and you can see there's not many trees around here, and it's open, and there's many campgrounds. Like this campground, there's probably about 300 campsites, and I bet you there's probably about less than 10 that have proper trees for hanging a hammock. Otherwise, you have to have a stand like this. The second thing is parks and beaches. You can go into a park and set this thing up and, and kick back. You can have a picnic after you eat. You're all full. I can kick back in here and relax and maybe even take a nap or even at a beach with the family. The next thing would be music festivals. When you go to a music festival, they usually have just an open field where people bring in their campers or their tents. This way you can deploy your hammock, set this up on the stand, and you'd sleep very comfortable. Well, one thing I recommend, make sure you bring in earplugs. The next one is when you travel and you stay at a friend's house or a family's house. This way you can bring it up, set in the backyard, and you can get a great, comfortable sleep. Or you can make an excuse that you don't sleep well and just don't see those people. Then the last one, this is one of my favorite, is for star watching. Like right here, it's open. At nighttime, I can set this up and, and just kick back and watch the stars. If I know it's not going to rain, I could sleep in this thing all night and watch the stars. I can take this out in a field or way out in the middle of nowhere, find an open space, set this up, and then you just watch the stars, the shooting stars, like on August 11th when those shooting stars, when those meteorite showers come through, I love setting this up and just sitting there all night watching the meteor showers, as long as it's not cloudy. So there's many other places you could take this and set it up. You can have different reasons. This is just some of the reasons. And there's also many other places you could set this up and use it for whatever you would like. The Tato Gear hammock stand comes with two tripods. And it comes with a 13 inch center pole, comes with four stakes, comes with a guideline to hold the tripod, comes with support straps for the tripods, and it comes with a handy carrying case. First you take that center pole and you put it together. It has bungees that holds it together which is really nice. So all you do is unravel it and put it right in. So now that you have the center pole put together, what you want to do is place it exactly where you want the hammock to be. And then after you get it where you want it to be, then you pick up the two tripods and you assemble those. To assemble the tripod, you slide out the bottom end and you twist it till you find the little knob and it'll snap in place. As you can see, the tripod has seven holes for different adjustments. So you'd be able to adjust it to the terrain or the different types of hammock that you have. Now once I get the tripods all set up, what I would do is take it and level it right over the end of the pole. Where that rope is going to attach to the top here. So I can just slide it right in there. And once you get it all set up, you want the two legs in front facing each other and the third leg facing back. And you can see, and that's what it would look like on top. It'll say Tato here facing each other. So this is how you're going to set it up. And then the next thing you're going to do is bring the pole up and put the rope into this little slot. So you pick up one end of the pole with the rope and you take that loop. Then you take the rope, you put it through that hole, bring it up and then bring it over onto that hook there and then you close the top off. And now I'll go to the other end and do the same thing. Pick up the other end, bring it up with the rope pointing up. Then I'll take the rope from the other end, put it up through the top. Then you take it and you put it over on that hook and you close the top. Now once you got the two ends hooked up with the center bar onto the tripod, what you want to do is make sure it's level. So what you do is you look at that rope coming down. 
Now that looks pretty level. I want to straighten these tripods out a little bit. Go over on the other end. So this one is a little back, so what you want to do is pull the tripod back just a little bit until that rope holding that center bar is level, like so. Now the next thing I want to do is take these straps that support the tripod so they don't spread out too far. It's a safety measure and it's good to have on. I'm going to take those and put them on the tripod on the bottom. They're really easy to put on. They're just snaps and then you adjust them. I'll show you how to do that. So you want to do is take the support strap and there's a little male end on one side and attached to the leg is a female end and you snap them in. Snap them into each leg of the tripod. Then you pull it out, tighten it up. If you need to, you can tighten these straps here. I would like to share with you a few additives that I added to this hammock to make it more efficient, I believe, and faster to set up. The first one is a Dutchware gear. It's a fly that I attached to the end of the tripod. So you can see there's a hole on the top of the tripod. I had four inches of cordage. It could be zing it or whatever you would like to use. And I put a loop through the hole, through the hole on the fly, and I tied it into a knot. So I got this loop that hangs down about three inches. So I take my stake with my line attached to the stake. I always keep my line attached to the stake. I unravel it. Then I put it in the ground. I come up to the fly, the Dutch fly. So you take the line, you put it through this hook end on the fly, the Dutch fly, pull it real tight, then I would pinch it here, bring it around the antenna, over the wing, and it locks right in place. It's that simple. And the second one, I put white lines on the tripod. So on each three poles, I put a white mark, this one on the very end, to line it up to this mark and it's all lined up with a little knob. So I take that white line on the bottom of the pole and I line it up with a hole and I slide that inside pole out, keep it in line with the holes and I come to my top one and I know that this is lined up and I know it's gonna pop in the first hole and as you can see, it's ready to slide right in. This way it's a lot easier to set it up instead of twisting it and turning trying to find out where the knob is. This is a slick way. I suggest you try that. One thing I suggest is when you get the tripod set up and you get the straps in, you really want to strap it down because when the wind comes in, you put that hammock in there and the wind comes by, it will blow the hammock stand just like this. Oh, no. Now I'm going to take my hammock, I'm going to put it on the carabiner. Now what you're going to do is take this carabiner on the end of the tripod and you're going to hook it up to your continuous loop on your hammock. So now that I got this set up, I'm taking a nap. Oh, what a beautiful day. Now that I got the hammock set up, now it's time to deploy the tarp. And I'll show you how to do that on this. Now to hang your tarp, you can see there's a loop of guideline, and that's where you're gonna hook up your ridge line to it for your tarp. What I use is a stinger. So I hooked, looped it around that loop there of that guideline, and then I set it up this way, and I pull a taunt with my stinger.
So now that the tarp is deployed, it's ready to go. What I would do is I'd pitch it on this end, if I was looking out that way, I'd pitch it up higher. But for this example, I just whipped up this tarp. But if you notice, the tarp is underneath the bar here. You could also put the tarp over the bar so it rests on top of the bar if you would like. So either way, I like to run it underneath there because of the cat cut, but you could put it on top of the bar. If it was snowing, you're worried about heavy things dropping on it. So this hammock stand weighs 24 pounds and has a weight capacity of 500 pounds, so it can hold a lot of weight. I got it from Dutchware Gear. You can go online and they sell them there, and there's probably other places that sell it. They're not very cheap. I paid $320 for this. To me, it's an investment because I do a lot of hammocking, and I find this very helpful and useful in places that do not have trees because, like I said earlier, I love sleeping in a hammock. When you purchase this Tato Gear hammock stand, it does come with instructions for you to set it up. These are very easy to read, and it's really nice to have this, and it goes through it in great detail how to set this up. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. This is the Marine with Backpacking with a Hammock, signing off.